Hi friends, how are you doing? Uh, I finally got up the courage to make another YouTube video. I've been debating whether or not I want, do I want to grow this channel or do I want to like feed into the channels that I already have. I have a great audience, so if you're coming over from there, thanks for being here. Get out of here, fly. And also I'm just really thankful for jump cuts because I tend to just like zone out it mid-sentence and forget what I'm even talking about or saying and it's very awkward to listen to. Anyway, let's move on and talk about what we're going to make today. Today we're going to talk about making refrigerator pickles or quick pickling. <laughs> It's cucumber season. Our farm, it's been so hot the past couple of weeks. Our spring here in Iowa was really cool compared to years past, so the vegetable plants have not got grown as quickly as they usually do. So we're just now getting cucumbers, and the deer have actually been a problem for the first time for us since moving to this farm in 2017. Cucumbers are thankfully ready to pick and we've got some really nice ones. These are, I don't, I believe these are northern pickling cucumbers. They're not gherkins. Gherkins would typically be what you would see um, in the commercial pickling industry. So what you'd buy at the grocery store if you're getting those like little whole cucumbers. We're not going to actually be canning these in the hot water bath canner. Um, this would be pickling that you can, would not be shelf stable. The reason that I'm choosing to do it this way, uh, I personally don't love the taste of hot water bath pickles. It's really difficult to get that perfect crunchy pickle even when you're growing them. The cucumber itself can have some issues going on. When you pick a cucumber, you have this part called the blossom end, which is the end where the flower developed to grow the cucumber. This end can become limp due to that blossom. In all pickling recipes, you're going to get the piece of advice to like trim off that blossom end, um, and that will help your cucumber stay firm. You want to pickle the cucumbers ideally the same day that they're picked. Now, if you don't grow your own cucumbers, there's zero way that that is even possible. So another big tip is to ice bath your cucumbers for at least an hour. This could also be like overnight would be great in the fridge. You just stick them in a bowl filled with ice cold water and that will help firm those cucumbers up. So even if you add things like ball pickle crisp would be um, an additive, which is pure calcium chloride. With the hot water bath pickles, I still get issues where I get like a limpy, squishy pickle. I loved cold processed pickles. So if you are the same way and you just really like the taste and the crunch of that refrigerator pickle, this recipe is going to be um, a favorite of yours. They're so easy to make. You probably already know how to make them. And I've shared this recipe in the past um, on our blog, so it's nothing new. But what I wanted to share today was I did some reading into colonial style pickles, which are really fascinating because they add some different types of spices that are not used in, at least in any cucumber pickles specifically that I see today. Usually the recipes are for um, dill or kosher pickles. So the first one I came across was from American Cookery, which is written by Amelia Simmons from 1796. This is the first um, published American cookbook, and it's written by a woman, which I think is amazing. The cookbook does share a recipe for how to pickle cucumbers. The interesting thing about this recipe is that it is identical to the recipe in Hannah Glass's The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy. This is the 1805 version, Somebody in the comments is going to remember. I, of course, can't remember at this very moment. Um, but one of these is plagiarized. Again, both of them are nearly identical, um, word for word. Okay, to pickle cucumbers, let your cucumbers be small, fresh gathered, and free from spots. Then make a pickle of salt and water strong enough to bear an egg. Boil the pickle and skim it well, 
and then pour it upon your cucumbers. Dive them down for 24 hours, then strain them out into a colander and dry them with a cloth and take the best white wine vinegar with cloves, sliced mace, nutmeg, white peppercorns, long pepper, and, and races of ginger as much as you please. Boil them up together and then clap the cucumbers in with a few vine leaves and a little salt. And as soon as they begin to turn their color, put them into jars, stive them down close, and when cold, tie on a bladder and leather. Um, you might have noticed in that recipe is that it said vine leaves. Those would be grape vine leaves. Grape leaves ha are high in tannins, which would help with, can you guess, crisping up those pickles. It's amazing that we can still make this incredible food today, and it's been passed down, and we just don't even question it. It's so deep in our human heritage, all across cultures. That's my favorite part about food history. Let's head into the garden to gather up some fresh cucumbers. As you can see, our plants are just getting started producing. Even in this early stage of their life cycle, I'm already overwhelmed at the amount of fruits we're picking each day. Our herb garden has never looked better. I think it must be this weather. I love growing dill to use in our pickles and other recipes. First, we'll wash these cucumbers and soak them in a bath of ice cold water. Then make the brine. You will need two and a half cups of water, two cups of distilled white vinegar, a quarter cup of pickling salt, and a quarter cup of sugar. Bring this to a boil over the stovetop to dissolve the salt and sugar, and then remove it from heat and let it cool slightly. This recipe makes four pints or two quarts. To each quart jar, add two peeled cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of mustard seed, two bay leaves, six dill flower heads, and a quarter teaspoon of ball pickle crisp if you like. I added in half of a whole nutmeg and about half a teaspoon of mixed peppercorns and six cloves to each jar. Then I sliced up the ginger and put about four quarter inch slices into each jar as well. I prefer chunky pickles, so that's how I cut mine. You could make yours into thin slices, spears, or leave them whole. Because these are not being canned, you do not have to worry about headspace. And then the brine is poured over the pickles. Clean off your jar and put on your lid and band. And these are ready to eat after one to two weeks in the fridge and can be stored for up to about three months. And we're back. These are ready to go in the fridge. They're all done. And you can see it's really easy to make these. It's easy to make them to hot water bath can them too. If you were going to hot water bath can these, at this stage, while everything was still hot, you would put them into the water bath canner and then process them for about 10 minutes and that's gonna depend on your what elevation level that you live at. These, like I said, will go into the fridge for about one to two weeks. You can taste them, you know, every day leading up to that to see, you know, how about how long you like to wait for and then they're good in the fridge for about three months. Ideally, if you want to keep lots and lots of pickles, this method is not the best method of choice because you're gonna you know have a fridge filled with pickles then they only last for a few months on the flip side of that I do prefer to make pickles this way for fresh eating pickles because I make them all summer long and I just kind of rotate out the jars we can, like I prefer to make the bigger jars to store for longer periods of time and our cucumbers will keep producing all throughout the next month or so so that would leave us you know fresh pickles all the way through Christmas or possibly even longer. So these are the new pickles and you can definitely see on these pickles that have been sitting, I believe these have been in the fridge for about a week now, the coloring is completely different. They've almost turned like a yellowish brown, which is exactly how they should look. Mm -hmm. These are great. 
I will say since we I did eat these just a few days after canning them, now that they've sat for a week, the vinegar, the like sourness isn't as strong as it was just those few days after. So you definitely want to wait. The spices are really interesting. This is you can definitely taste the nutmeg. The gingeriness is interesting as well. It really changes the whole makeup. I might not necessarily pair it with the dill next time, um, but I still really like it. It's a unique pickle. It really has an excellent flavor and it's not too, too strong where the ginger is overwhelming. Let's finish that up. So that is our video making colonial style pickles or at least colonial flavored pickles. I'm trying to post a video every single week. We'll see where I get. May I might be into more of a every two weeks type of schedule. Um, if you would like to continue watching, we are on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, and I do post reels there almost every single day. Uh, we're also on Patreon if you want to support us. It's $5 a month, and I post two to three extra short form videos um, like our reels or TikToks and share the recipes there that you can print out. All of our recipes are available on our website at underatinroof.com, including this recipe, and you can just click to save it or print it or pin it, whichever you want to do. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.